What's up guys, JR Raymond back again, uh, coming to you from home where I'm going to talk to you a little bit about that whole storm debacle thing again. And I know it's kind of been a uh, pretty buttoned up, hush hush type of thing for a little while now, not very many people talking about it still, uh, but I kind of want to talk about, you know, the good and the bad uh, of the entire situation. So I'm going to talk about that here in a minute. Stay tuned. All right, so um, we have some issues, and the issues being we don't really know what happened. I don't think we're ever going to know what happened. I don't think anybody's going to admit to anything. One thing I do know, one thing you can see based on an awful lot of evidence that's being put out, is uh, I, I don't believe Storm was in the wrong here. I don't believe they actually had uh, many, if any, bowling balls that came below the numbers, uh, looking at the video that... Uh, they made where they, you know, I've, I've seen a lot of the, the, you know, some of the people that work there make a video, you know, what, you've probably seen it where they're destroying the bowling balls that were sent back to them for replacement after they tested them. And under their testing, they show well above the 73 durometer reading. So uh, most of them that I saw were actually in the 74 range, which gives you quite a bit of leeway. Um, so it's kind of confusing as to what's really happening here. We don't really know what's going on. Uh, we saw that Storm was threatening uh, an awful lot of danger, or not Storm, I'm sorry, USBC was threatening Storm with an awful lot of danger if they continued to sell those bowling balls that were deemed illegal in just that one tournament. My question is, and I think a lot of people have the same question, is if Storm has, or if, if USBC has deemed these balls illegal, why would you ban them in just the USBC tournament and the PWBA and not everywhere? Like, I just, I'm very confused as to why that seems to be the route that they went. If they're illegal, then you should get rid of them. But that leaves an awful lot of question in the air to see uh, maybe they're not illegal. And from what I'm seeing with the testing that Storm was doing and the videos that they've showed about how durometer readings can be really bad and how they're not even close to what they actually show uh, just by you know doing a, a polished ball and then doing a solid ball after the polish gets on the needle and then that makes it softer than what it really was and that's an issue you know so they showed where uh, they did one with the polish and they tested it and it came out um, you know at whatever number and then they went to the solid ball and did it and it came out at under 73 and then they did it again in the same spot and it came out at 70 over 73 and they kept doing it and it kept getting higher uh, until it kind of plateaued at 74 something so it showed that uh, the readings actually changed as they did them and I, I, their theory was that the the polish was causing something which obviously through their evidence that is you know the finishing effect is what's causing it that's confusing to me because polish technically makes a ball skid more um it kind of takes a footprint away so i think it's a false reading is what we're getting based on you know the polish that's being put on after because from my understanding is these companies send these bowling balls out um, before they're fully finished um, at whatever surface that they want them to and they uh, get tested in that atmosphere in that you know surface whatever 500 grit or whatever they send them off at as a as an unfinished product and they all test you know good you know and it's the same situation with the purple hammers all the purple hammers were sent out they tested positive they were good everything was good but then over time they become softer and then we have issues so uh, I think the issues here is, you know, now they, those balls get finished at the surface that they want with polish or whatever else, because we know Storm is a, uh, they're really good with their surfaces. They're really good with their harder surfaces, harder surfaces, um, and getting them to skid a little bit more and create really good shape downline. They're, they're the best in the world at that. Their skid flip type ball reactions are the best, uh, in my opinion. So, um, that whatever their finishing process is seems to be what caused the issue. That's, you know, from what I'm gathering out of their videos and stuff. So um, that's why they then, I think, have came out with this new process, the fast 4,000 4, fast um, process that they're using, 
which I don't think changes much. It smooths the shape out a little bit um, because you're not getting the you know the, as much skid since you're uh, since you're technically uh, putting teeth in the bowling ball. And uh, it's got it's still shiny, but it's not you know polished shiny. So they're getting it shiny without actually using any product, any type of polish or whatnot. Um, and this keeps them to where they're legal on the shelf. You don't have to worry about them being tested with the polish on them. My question is, is, is this, is the polishing procedure causing the same issues with other companies? Like I would like to see if, you know, Brands of Brunswick and, you know, some of these other companies are doing before and after testing on durometer readings and seeing if, you know, by chance the polish process, you know, is say taking a ball from 75 hardness to 74 after they polish it or something along those lines. I'm, I'm curious, you know, and I don't think it's necessarily that the bowling balls are actually that, you know, reading that soft. I think it is the faulty testing that's causing bowling balls to read softer. I don't think it's actually the fact that bowling balls are too soft. I think it is bad, um, bad testing procedure and all that good jazz more than anything. So, I mean, I'm not here to criticize USBC. I'm not here to criticize anybody. I just think um, at some point, this has all got to get a handle on it because um, it's costing Storm a lot of money and uh, to replace these bowling balls that they probably should have never had to replace. And it's costing an awful lot of people time and frustration. Um, and I, I guarantee that Storm's going to lose some customers based on this because there's a lot of people that aren't going to look into the facts. They're not going to look into anything, even if there were a lawsuit of some kind and Storm were to win a lawsuit on the whole thing, like let's call it a defamation type of thing. Um, I don't think that would matter because a lot of people, it would matter for Storm because then that would financially help them a little bit better and keep them you know, from being liable for stuff like this. But uh, I don't think it would help the, you know, the market share that they would have because so many people would still, dig it, it's too early. So many people would still probably, not so many, but some people would probably never even see that type of stuff and they're just gonna take the word that, oh, these balls were illegal. They made illegal bowling balls, I'm never buying Storm products again. You know, that type of stance, just because a lot of people don't like to research, a lot of people don't like to look into things. They just kind of take what they hear and they take their word for it. Um, and that's un that's unfortunate. And we see that with an awful lot of different scenarios, a lot of different things uh, in the world right now. But I think this is just one thing that, it's kind of a black eye to the sport. You know, it just, it's it's rough to see. I know USBC wants to show that they're, you know, doing their job and whatnot, and I commend them for trying to do their job. I just think uh, we need more transparency. I want to, I kind of want to know, I, I think me and along with a lot of other people want to know what in the world is actually going on, like what's really happening. You know, so I don't foresee any bowling balls being technically illegal. I don't foresee them ever being banned or anything like that. I think that would cause an awful lot more problems for both USB-C and Storm if something like that were to happen. But so I don't see it happening. Um, but man, it's just it's frustrating. And I keep yawning, yeah. which is really frustrating. But I don't know. I just kind of wanted to chat about this a little bit because there is still an awful lot of discussion out there. So make sure if you did do um, that. Re, re, return or whatever if you return to bowling ball to get something different that uh you know thanks storm for even doing that because i don't think they really had to do that i don't think especially the 50 dollar pro shop card you know they're paying for your drilling and everything they didn't have to do that that's for sure it takes an awful lot off the pro shops who are selling their product and i think that was that was the good thing to do but i don't think they had to do that um so I commend them for everything they've done for the pro shops and for the bowlers. So if you haven't yet, you should definitely make sure to go thank Storm and everybody behind it because I think this is a, you know, it was a headache, but I think they're handling it the best they possibly can. And I honestly don't think it's their fault. So um, thank you, Storm. Thank you, everybody out there uh, who works for Storm for doing this because I think it's going to, uh, as much of a black eye as I think it is, I think it can also be a, uh, a learning experience for everybody inside the industry. So uh, thank you. And uh, I'm going to get out of here. So you guys like this, share this, 
talk about it amongst your friends, make sure people realize what's going on, make sure everybody knows that, hey, these balls aren't illegal. The only way you don't get to use these balls in league and stuff is if your league votes them out. And if your league votes them out, that's probably pretty stupid since they're not even deemed illegal. So um, don't let leagues vote them out. Make sure they keep them in the leagues. Um, but I'm out of here. So we'll see you guys later. Take care.